Afghanistan produced close to 90% of the world's opium in 2013. The drug not only affects the local population, but also finds its way to more affluent markets in Western countries. Speaking on a VOA Afghan service program, Afghanistan's Deputy Minister for Counter Narcotics, Mohammad Ibrahim Azhar, said his country needs international support to combat the drug problem. Drugs in Afghanistan are not only a problem for our country, they're a problem for the whole world. Increased demand for drugs in foreign countries is a big challenge for us, and Afghanistan cannot continue its fight against drugs all by itself. The United States has spent $10 billion since 2002 to combat poppy production and encourage Afghan farmers to plant alternative crops. But a recent report by the Special Inspector General for Afghanistan Reconstruction indicates that these efforts have not succeeded in curbing poppy cultivation. Still, steps such as taking down drug labs, arresting traffickers and capturing money through money laundering efforts are positive signs that should not be ignored, says William Brownfield, Assistant Secretary of State for International Narcotics and Law Enforcement Affairs. Cultivation is one of many elements, I would suggest to you that the bigger picture is a much more positive picture in terms of counter-narcotics efforts in Afghanistan. Later this year, the United States will withdraw its combat troops from Afghanistan. Some experts say there are signs that U.S. interest in Afghanistan will diminish. That will be bad for counter-narcotics efforts in the country, says Lisa Curtis of the Heritage Foundation. Just a couple of weeks ago, the U.S. Congress slashed its development funding for Afghanistan in half. Uh, so that shows that aid programs writ large are going to be cut back and counter-narcotics will fall into that category. So I think we're going to see less of a focus on countering narcotics. But Brownfield told VOA the United States continues to be committed to Afghanistan. I know that we will continue to support programs that are designed to provide alternative development, that are designed to support governor-led eradication, that are designed to improve investigation or to improve interdiction with specialized units, programs that are designed to do more prosecutions and successful prosecutions, or education or treatment or rehabilitation. Experts believe that, to effectively combat the opium cultivation problem, the world will have to come down hard on the demand side, because as long as there is demand, there will be supply from somewhere. Kokup Farshori, VOA News, Washington.